man that first video was super long so i'm gonna try to keep this one kind of short i'm gonna just talk about the whole fan favorite thing um i got the name from my coach mccray at usc my freshman year i was kind of depressed like slick depressed and i wanted to leave and she was like you can't leave i'm like why can't i leave and she was like you're the fan favorite like look around at the every game is you everybody waiting you know waiting for to take pictures with or to get an autograph signed from so since my freshman year i was like 17 she started calling me fan favorite like she don't even call me keisha she just called me fan favorite and then it started to catch on and other people started calling me the same thing so i just kind of ran with it um but as far as the clothing line goes my homeboy bato who's swaggy customs he um he designs clothes and I was like, yo, send me a shirt that that got fan favorite on it. And he was like, Alright, cool, I got you. So just I was playing around with it at first and I put on my Instagram, I was like, you know, I'm about to have some fan favorite shirts done. Who gonna want some? And I got like a crazy response and like everybody was like writing back like I want one, I wear it, I'll do this, I'll wear it, I want one, da da da. So what I did was I started writing stuff down in my notebook. My little notebook. So at first I was just like writing down designs and stuff that I, I, I was thinking about. And all the designs I had, I share them with y'all on my Instagram and my Twitter. So what I did was actually my friend Melvin, shout out to Melvin, founder of Get Hip Society. He actually sent me a Get Hip t-shirt and was like, y'all need you to wear this, take a picture in it. So I did that for him. So I'm like, okay, if you got your own clothing line, you know, walk me through it, how you started. So I started texting with him. Um, the guy from Get Hip, and I was sending him my ideas, and basically what he did was put them on his Photoshop, and he sent them back. So any idea that I have, I'll text it to him, and he'll do it on Photoshop, and he emails it to me, and if I like it, I post it, and if I don't, you know, we just talk about it, and he fixed it a little bit. He fixed it a little bit, but um, yeah, so, and then my whole fan favorite movement, what I'm trying to do is... I'm trying to use words or phrases that describes me as a person, um, hence the the passionate, like I'm going to have some passionate tees, um, motivation tees, uh, what else I write down, motivation tees, I just showed y'all my best kept snapbacks, you know, best kept secret, a lot of times when I'm in the gym, people be like, yo, like, you should be in the league, or you should be here, or, you know, you you underrated like when people I played against text me all the time like yo you mad underrated da, da, da. I got so much respect for you so just different little stuff that I have throughout conversations I write it down and I I put it on a t-shirt and if it look right I put it out there because I know as a hooper I'm not the only person that feels like ball is life or hoop dreams or whatever the case may be like I'm not the only fan favorite I'm the original, but I'm the, I know I'm not the only one out there. Like, whether you playing basketball, football, soccer, baseball, music, like anybody can be a fan favorite. That's why I think it'll work, and I think it's it's hot. Like it's a hot design and it's catchy, and you know people like anything new. So I'm gonna try to keep coming up with new designs and new colors, and probably try to drop everything this summer. Like t-shirts, tank tops, um snapbacks i'm gonna do snapbacks and beanies try to get some hoodies and right now i'm working on some socks but the whole sock process is so long like it takes like six to eight weeks so i'm trying to find a manufacturer that can do me some fan favorite socks like fan favorite elite socks in a shorter time period because i know you guys want them i want the socks so this summer i plan on being all fan favorite out and i hope you guys are too um, and if you're interested in purchasing a shirt or a wristband, like, my fan favorite wristband, I tried to put my 11 in there just so y'all can remember me, but whatever. And my no regrets, because I've been saying that since I first started playing basketball. Like, I don't regret, like, not going to a big school or not, you know, doing whatever it is. Like, I'm grateful for the opportunities that I had, and I, I'm making the best of them, so I don't regret anything. I don't. I, you know, I don't count other people's blessings because I'm too busy counting mine. Like, every day is something new, and I'm thankful for that. So, I mean, just live life with no regrets. Like, like I said earlier, like, God has a plan for us, and whatever is meant to happen is going to happen. 
So I just try to enjoy every moment and take it day by day. Um, but I like this shirt right here. I wore today in my workout with um, Bobby Mays from Tennessee and, and Pat the Rock. So I wore this today and a lot of people liked it. And you know, gotta match in my shorts. So I got this one done. It's like my fan favorite neon tees. Um, so I'm gonna try to get them done in every color for me so I could be rocking, rocking my fan favorite stuff wherever I go. Um, I also have this pink tee. I think I posted it on my Instagram before. It's a pink fan favorite tee with my logo. This is my logo. So I don't know about you, but I can see this on shirts, on shorts, flip flops, pretty much everything. This is my logo. So this is what I'm trying to push. And this tee is actually a youth extra extra large. So if you want it, hit me up. We can talk about pricing. If not, I'm gonna wear it and keep it for myself. I haven't worn this one yet. But if you do want a neon tee, just go to my website, www.fanfavoriteapparel.storeenvy.com, and just uh, pre-order your neon tee because I get my neon tees done somewhere different. So if you want to order a neon tee and you're willing to pay for it, then you know. You just follow the transaction and I can get it done for you like tomorrow or whenever you want it and I'll ship it out to you. But like I said, just hit me up on my Instagram or my Twitter or my, my website and let me know what you want or what size you want. This shirt right here is a youth extra large. So yeah, I shop in the kids section. That's just me. But yeah, I like these neon tees. I'm trying to I'm trying to get my um electric lime one done right now and the purple one I got coming. And then these are my basic tees that I came out with first. It's just a basic gray fan favorite tee. A lot of people ask me for the gray ones now. First it was the black tees, but now everybody like this. So we got the gray tee. We got the pink tee. Again. We got the pink tee with the logo. It's one of my favorites. Shout out to my sister, Lauren Mincy. She hoop at Maryland. I'm going to have to send her all of these so she can rock these for me. I got a couple people in mind. Actually, I have a list of some of my friends or people I'm cool with that I'm trying to get some stuff sent out to so they can rock it for me, promo it for me. If you think you should be one of those people, hit me up. Let me know what's up. But it's my white tee right here. I wear these before the games. It's pretty hot. People ask me where I get it from. I tell it it's my own stuff. So that's kind of cool. Got my white tee and the black tee, which is also my favorite. I love black and white. So anything black and white is just, I think it's so dope. And it could go with anything. But yeah, this is my my favorite, favorite tee. The black one. Then the white one, I guess. But yeah, just let me know the sizes. Or the shirts that you see me in on my Instagram and my Twitter, those are men's small. They fit me perfectly. And like I said, this is a kid's shirt and it's kid's extra large. So if you think you know you can fit the same shirt as me, let me know. And just take it from there. Like I said, got these shirts. These bands. Like I said, shout out to my boy Pat. He sent me these socks. But my fan favorite socks coming soon. So just stay tuned. You know, stay tuned and work with me on that. They're not going to come overnight, but they will come. I promise you. And yeah. I have these two gray shirts. I actually have to send it out to D Diggins 4. I don't know. But he did pre-order. he did pre -order, So I had an extra one. So I had to go out and ship this out to him before I forget. Um, but yeah, like I said, right now I'm just waiting on a new shipment of shirts to come in. So I can send them to you guys. But if you want to pre-order, the best way to make sure you get a shirt is to pre-order it. That way it's paid for and you will get it the first day I get, the first day I get all my shirts and you don't have to wait for them. Um, yeah. Hit me up.